Hello and welcome to this Ethical Hacking Tools with Python video. In today's lesson, we're going to address the need for Python in uh, cybersecurity. So here's a brief overview of what uh, we're going to cover. We're going to look into what it means to work in cybersecurity and the practical nature of many of the jobs in this field. Now, this same practical nature, as well as the methodical aspect of many practices, most often than not calls for automation. And what better way to do automation than Python? Okay, so let's consider the following scenario. You work as a penetration tester for a large cybersecurity company. Your team has been assigned a number of targets to assess their security. Each one of your colleagues has been given precise instructions by the team leader in terms of what to do and what tools to use. You are in charge of finding all open ports on each target as well as uh, fingerprinting the operating system. How will you actually approach this? Well, um, you know a couple of tools that might help you achieve your goals. You could use uh, Nmap with a different parameters uh, set in as well as multiple runs of Nmap to cross check the validity of your results. Now this would require you to manually write and run each of the commands. There's nothing wrong with that of course, but if you have to do the same thing for each target and then save all the output by copying and pasting it to the report file, this might become very boring and repetitive. So how else could you tackle this problem in a more efficient way? Now this is where a call to automation makes really good sense. What does that mean? Well, in this particular scenario, automation means having the entire process, or at least a very large part of it, put on autopilot. You'd have to define a clear objective of the automation process so that you would know exactly when and to what scenario it can be applied. Automation allows you to take your hands off the process itself, making it much more efficient, less prone to error, if it's designed appropriately, of course, and uh, less time consuming, which would allow you to focus on other aspects of the request, which actually would need hands-on attention. So getting back to the question, how can you automate this? Well, you could use the Python programming language, which is very easy to understand, rapid to develop in, it has a clean syntax and it's quite straightforward. Due to its open nature, there are thousands of libraries uh, built in Python that allow you to um, achieve your objective in just a few lines of code. In our particular case, Python Nmap would be this library. Okay, let's stop for a moment and do a quick knowledge check. So, what is a good tool to use for network and target scanning? Is it NSLOOKUP, Nmap, or DERB? Okay, so let's take them one by one. NSLOOKUP is a tool for querying DNS information, so that's actually not it. DERB, if you're familiar with pen testing tools, is a web directory brute forcer, so that's not the answer either, which makes B and MAP our only choice for the right answer. So NMAP is uh, a tool that lets you do very customized scanning over the network, as well as on individual targets. Now, Getting back to um, our main thread, so Python Nmap is a Python library that allows us to instantiate and run multiple Nmap scans programmatically or by writing lines of code. In this case, we would write a Python script to run each scan sequentially and save the output of each of these scans to file. We could then use Python for uh, OS fingerprinting, or we could simply do a ping from within Python to that host. And based on the response of the ping, we would determine uh, the OS. Of course, all this would be done from a single uh, script. So when the script is completed, we would just run it and all of the commands would be executed. So a simple Python auto nmap.py to the target would achieve our goals in just one instruction instead of having uh, multiple lines uh, in the terminal. So I hope that by now you understand the power of automation and how knowing how to work with programming or scripting languages like Python 
will make your cybersecurity assessments much more efficient and less time consuming. All right, it's time for another quick knowledge check. So how can you automate your cybersecurity assessments? Is it A, by typing the commands in multiple terminals, B, by typing the commands faster, or C, by using a programming language such as Python? Let's take them one by one. So typing the commands in multiple terminals will probably let you run the scans in parallel, but this is not automation. So A is a wrong answer. Typing the commands faster is not automation either because you have to type each command itself. So B is also wrong, which leads us to C writing a script in Python to run all the commands and then executing the script. This is automation. So C is the right one. Okay, so what have we learned today? Well, we learned that there's a lot of hands-on work in many cybersecurity practices. Good automation will make the entire process less prone to error. And ultimately, we learned that Python will help us put things on autopilot when it comes to our cybersecurity assessments. Next, we'll start looking into how to automate information gathering and we'll take a quick glance at the typical penetration testing process. I am Christian and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.